Hey, this is Seb, and today we're going over keyframe animation in Arma 3. Keyframe animation is one of those topics in Arma that has gotten very little attention over the years, and one of the reasons for that, I believe, is that it's very little documentation to go on. Therefore, it can be difficult to understand the usage of this at first glance. But it is, in fact, a great tool. So what is keyframe animation? Well, keyframing is very simply put animating an object in 2D or 3D. And it's based on the notion that an object itself has a beginning state or condition and will be changing over time in position, form, color, luminosity or any other property to some different form. You have seen this system at work many places like the big reveal in the contact DLC, the ending of Art of War Showcase or the flying drones in the old man scenario checkpoints that I have also recreated and is available as a composition for you to find in my description. The keyframe system in Armor 3 is all about interpolation and can be used for camera and cutscenes like camera paths and timing, 2D animations, the ability to animate UI controls on the screen, 3D animations, the ability to animate objects in the 3D world, numeric animation, the ability to animate any number transition. And now we're gonna set up a basic animation in the Eaton editor. Open Eden and place down a player unit. On the asset list, select modules and search for keyframe animation. Here you'll find all the related modules used to make up animations in Eden. From here, select the timeline module and place it down. Enable play from start. This will make the timeline start to be simulated when the scenario starts. Set the length to 10 seconds. This is the length of the timeline and enable loop. This will make the timeline restart once the simulation reaches the end. Next up, place a rich curve module, right click on the newly created rich curve and synchronize it with the timeline. Set the orientation mode to animation and this will make the orientation of the animated objects orientation follow the animation. After this, you place down two rich curve keys. Select and then right click on the newly created rich curve keys and synchronize them with the rich curve. Open the attributes of one of the placed keys and we will consider this one the first, so it's the start of our animation. You can leave all the settings default. Open the attributes of the other key, this will be the final point of the animation. Set the time property to 10, this means our animation will be in a total of 10 seconds, since the first key starts at 0 and our last key starts at 10. At this point, you have actually created your first animation in the Eden Editor. The natural next step now is to add an animated object. Basically, an object that will follow the animation in real time in the Eden Preview. In the Asset Browser, select an object and place it down into the level. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use one of the drones. Right-click the newly created object and synchronize it with the curve object. What you should see now is your object being animated. Try moving the keys around to get a sense of the editing features. Notice how the animation is being drawn in red and how you're affecting an animation in real time. You can see the red line defines the animation path and the red dots defines the density of the animation. You can add more keys by holding shift plus space and make sure you have the timeline value being mirrored in the last key you put down so it's synced or else the timeline will override the key time value. If the value in the timeline is 60 seconds, it needs to be 60 seconds on the last rich curve key. Now we can try turning the animation into a spline or a Bezier cubic. Select both keys in Eden and right click one of them. Select the attributes and set the interpolation mode to cubic. Now the animation will have a non-linear interpolation and control points can be added to control the cubic tangents. That is the basic of keyframe animation and with this you have a plethora of different options you can do. It's all about your own creativity so take your time and experiment with the modules. Keyframe animation can be used to animate cameras for cinematics or cutscenes. The first option you have is to use the module that comes with Armor Tree. Find the camera module and place it down. To exit the camera, I chose camera from tools and exited back to the editor. Now sync the camera to the rich curve. In the camera module, set it to switch to at start. This makes the camera start when you start the scenario. If you preview the camera now, you will see the camera being animated when you start the scenario. But it's not focused on anything. 
if you wanted to look at a specific object, you have to change the Rich Curve Key orientation. In the Rich Curve Key, set the orientation mode to Look At. In the Look At option, you will need the Eden ID and the object name or variable name. Select the character you want to use and name him Man1. To get the Eden ID, go into the Debug console and in there paste this line. This will give you the Eden ID and you can find the line or command I used in the description of the video. If you have the mod Eden Enhanced, you can right click your actor and get the Eden ID from there. Paste this value in, followed by the variable name of the object. It should look something like this. The camera should now track the chosen actor and from here you can play around with the keyframe animation to create different camera paths. I have of course created a downloadable composition for you to check out on the Steam Workshop. It contains 4 examples of what you can do with keyframe animated cameras and links are in the description. If you want to use a free looking camera together with keyframe animation, you can combine the Gcam cinematic camera mod together with keyframe animation. To do this, you will need to download the Gcam mod from the Steam Workshop first. Set up a new animation like I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial, but this time let the animated object be a playable character. Place him down and turn off the character's animation. Give the character a new identity name so it's easier to find him once you're in Gcam. Also give him the name Camera. Now sync him with the Ridge Curve object. Start the scenario and launch the Gcam mod. If you have issues with not getting the Gcam option, use this command. It's linked in the description of the video. Now choose the character that is being animated by the keyframe animation. Gcam will now follow the animation line, and this gives you opportunities to move the camera wherever you want on the curve. From here, the next logical thing to do is hiding the object that is being animated. You can use this by using the hide object command, or if you're using Eden Enhanced, you can go into the attributes of the character and disable show model. This results in a free looking camera that follows the path of the keyframe animation. If you are into creating uh, movie scenes, cinematic stuff for armor, these uh, techniques can basically save you a lot of time instead of scripting uh, an entire camera sequence. From the workshop, I can tell some people have already learned how to use keyframe animation in very clever ways, like the excellent Levolution concept by Kasuma san. I hope to see more people use keyframing in the future as it's a great tool. Now, remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you like this tutorial. If you want to know more, check out the documentation linked in the description. If there are other things you would like a tutorial on regarding Armatry and the Armatry editor for cinematics or whatnot, uh, throw it down in the comments. I'll uh, check it out. Maybe I'll make them. Now that's all from me. Stay safe.